moment of death, when the soul is right here, and your whole body is dead, and you only have a breath left, something happens. Something that the Prophet wasallam used to seek refuge from every salah. It is the test of death. And let me explain this. Throughout your whole life, all 50, 60, 70 years of your life, shaitan is trying to push you astray. And he comes and whispers to us certain things to do and not to do. And throughout our life, he succeeds sometimes and he fails sometimes. But this is his last chance, right? You're dying, your life is ending, and he only has one chance left to push you astray. So he will come to you in the form and shape of someone that is dear to you that has died before you, a mother, father, son, whoever. And he will come up to you at that moment when the soul is about to leave the body and he will tell you, Ahmed, I am coming from the unseen world. The true religion there is not Islam. It is something else. And you have that split second to decide. But brothers and sisters, the challenge is, it's not up to you. It's not. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يُثَبِّتُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ أَمَنُوا Allah is the only one that on, on that day, at that moment, can give you the ability to say, أَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدُ رَسُولُ اللَّهُ And it happens how? It happens based on how you lived your life. Were you truthful to la ilaha illallah? Were you from those who worshiped Allah, truly loving no one but Him, fearing no one but Him, hoping in no one but Him? Did you truly submit to la ilaha illallah? Or was it just words that came out of your mouth? We can all, mashallah, we can all say Islamic words, Assalamu alaikum, brother, jazakallah khair, barakallah fiqh. We can all use these words. But what's inside, only Allah knows. You and Allah. You can, be, you can look, appear to be the most pious person in this community. But only Allah knows who you really are. And at that moment, brothers and sisters, the real you comes out. I meet a lot of people that feel that because their name is Muhammad or Ahmed or Fatima, that they're guaranteed Jannah, sooner or later. I mean, all right, aren't all Muslims going to Jannah eventually? I'll, you know, go to hellfire a little bit and come back out, but you know, I'm going to Jannah. I'm Muslim. Well, the, the challenge is, brothers and sisters, will you die as a Muslim? When this test of death comes to you, will Allah grant you la ilaha illallah or not? Because I have known people, and I'm not just talking out of stories, this is true stories that have happened to people I know, that they lived their whole life, everyone knows them as a Christian. And on their deathbed, at that last moment, they said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna And I know the opposite. People whose names are Ahmed and Muhammad and they lived their whole life, Jazakallah khair, barakallahu feek, mashaAllah, astaghfirullah. And on their deathbed, when they should say, La ilaha illallah, they were singing music, talking about business. That's it, brothers and sisters. What did you really live your life as? 